Hello, Park Terrace Scholars. It's Mrs. Benjamin, and I'm here with a special message for all of you. Um, I wanted to talk with you a little bit about how we are sometimes curious about how other people look or dress, especially if they look or dress differently than we do. Um, but when we're asking questions, it's important to be thoughtful and to also always be respectful. Now, I know some of the scholars have asked a few questions about Mrs. Mustafa, and she has graciously agreed to sit down with me and be uh, able to talk a little bit about her background and where she's from and answer some scholar questions. Can you tell us a little bit about what life is like in Palestine and how it's kind of different or the same to living in the United States? Yeah, so we have different lifestyle there. So we dress different, we speak Arabic, which is a uh, different language, and we eat uh, different food. We eat a lot of rice and meat. We eat hummus a lot. I think yes. we eat some of those foods in the United States as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So a lot of scholars have noticed that you wear a headscarf or a hijab. Can mm -hmm. you tell us a little bit about why you wear that? So my mom has worn a hijab for as long as I can remember and my cousins, my family, friends, etc. So it felt normal when I started wearing it at the age of 15 years old. For a long time I wear it because I honestly couldn't imagine myself without it. But now that I'm older, I wear it as a sign of faith to my religion. I wear it because it allows me to have full control over my body and I wear it because I never have to worry about a bad hair day. Do you ever get hot in it? No, the great thing about the hijab, it comes all types of different fabric, mm -hmm. fabrics. So during the, hot, the hotter uh, months, I will wear something thinner. During cooler months, I will wear something thicker. Do you ever take it off? I only wear the hijab in public. So when I go home, I take it off in front of my husband, my relatives, my kids for sure. I don't sleep with it. I don't take shower with it. It just, I wear it in public and uh, in front of like male, like strangers male, I, I have to wear it. So during like, girls private like sitting I can't take it off it's only in public I wear it in public not inside the house what do you wish that people who don't wear a hijab knew or understood or appreciated I want them to know that I wear the hijab because I want to wear it so I wear it by choice and I want them to be respectful kind to people who who may look different because at the end of the day we are all different we have different names different faces and believe in different things but the one thing we should all agree is to be kind and respectful to each other Thank you so much for those important words about kindness and being respectful to all others. It's really an important message for our scholars. And I also want to thank you for sitting down with me and answering some of the questions that uh, the kids have been asking. And um, I'm really thankful that you're here in our school community and, and such an important part of our Park Terrace family. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much.